Uh, my name is Jake Bartlett. I'm 14 years old and I'm a member of Platte County Park Rangers. And today I'm going to be show you, showing you how to pin insects. Preparing insects for display takes some skill, patience, and organization. Here are three things you will find helpful. Number three insect pins are probably the best choice for our 4-H entomology needs. They are the longest and strongest for piercing and holding most of the insects we will most likely capture. Forceps have smooth tips, while te tweezers can be sharp, making forceps the better choice to use. I will be showing you how to use the pinning block for positioning. What you will need is forceps, not tweezers, because tweezers can hurt the insect. You will need number three pins, and you will need a pinning block. It is important to use insect pins as they are very slender and coated to slide more easily through the insect. As I will be showing you, the pinning block helps place the insect and the labels at the proper uniform height on the pin. While using forceps to handle the insects is ideal, sometimes gently holding the insect may be necessary. I would suggest keeping this diagram with your pinning supply. I'm now going to tell you where to pin on the insect. So when you're pinning, most all orders are different, but most of them are to the right of the center of the thorax. And you can tell it's the thorax because it's where the legs uh, are, are attached to the body. And there are two ways to do this, but I'm going to do it the easier way. So um, you, when you get it on the pinning block, you wanna line it up so that the uh, pin that, so, so that you see this hole, the pin will go through it at the right of the center of the thorax. So now I'm going to line it up like, uh, like that. So now that I have it lined up, I'm just going to shoot. And this part is a little hard, so you just want to have patience. Okay, so um, now that I have it lined up, I'm just going to hold it in place and stick the pin through. And I have the pin sort of through, so if it kind of moves out of the hole, you can rearrange it. That's a really hard. Check to see if the insect is level from front to back. It does, uh, if you're having a hard time doing it this way, you can always take the head of the pin and stick it in the bottom hole like this and push it down manually. You just wanna be very careful you don't break it. And see like that, now that I have it through. Um, if you want, you can take it like this and push it down all the way or you can take it here and then put that and push, take it here and just push it down the rest of the way. And like that. And that is uh, how you pin an insect. Check to see if the insect is level from front to back. 
So after you've penned, you want to make sure that the insect is at the right height and it isn't tilted. And um, this bee, I got it a little tilted forward, so the head's a little farther down than the, the rest of the body. And if that happens, you can just take your forceps or your fingers and just move the head up a little bit. And sometimes it is hard, so you and you want to remember to be very fragile with these insects. And I'm gonna move it down a little bit more. And just like that, it's not uh, as tilted down. This is an illustration of how the pinning block is used. Now I'm going to show you how to label and how to pin the labels onto the pen with the insect. So first with the labels, um, you will have a template for the labels, but um, on the labels, you will need the insect name, the order, where you found them and uh like by flowers for this one is where i found this bumblebee and uh like what county and what state you found them and so now i'm going to cut them out so um and make sure to use cardstock because they last longer than just normal paper and now you have uh their insect name the common name and the order and uh, where you found them and what county and state you found them in uh, and as two different rectangles. What you're gonna wanna do, and in each of them you will see a little dot, a black dot in the middle, that's where you will pin on the labels. Uh, so what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to take the common name and the order first and you're gonna wanna take the insect and go to this middle, I like to call them stairs cause that's that kind of look like stairs, but the middle stair and the head, um, like the face of the insect should be facing uh, the op, so they, it should be able to kind of read um, the, uh, the card, the label right here. So I'm just going to uh, find the hole. This part is a little tricky and sometimes I like to find it, the hole with the pin, and then kind of fill in. And sometimes it helps if you kind of stick in the label first, and then you kind of tilt it at an angle so you can see. So it would be like that, so you can see. And then you're gonna push until you feel a little, a grab like that, and Obviously, I need to push this bumblebee back up a little bit, so I'll do that. Like that. And so now I have the hole. And as I said, you're just going to kind of tilt to see the hole. And push all the way down, like that. All the way, all the way down. And then you're going to take the uh, where you found them and what county and state you found them in and go to the smallest stair. And you're going to do the exact same thing. Okay. So you just kind of So you just get them in, in the hole. And then you get the hole and And then you push down like that. And this one I kind of folded a little bit. But then you line up the. Then all you have to do is line up the uh, cards together and place it down. And uh, then you will have it pinned and labeled. And you can use the you can use the first slide as reference as a good uh, box that is labeled and pinned. Now I will show you how to pin a dragonfly. 
And remember, you want it to be to the right of the very center of the thorax. Um, and then I'm just gonna push the pin down a little more. And now I'm going to take my penning block and I'm going to go to the very top one. And I'm going to find the, and push down the dragonfly until the very end, like that. And then if I did have the labels, I would go here with the type, the name in order, and here with the location I found it and the county I found it in. To organize the insects in the display box, one long edge of the regulation size box should be the top of the display. Arrange the insects in line by order with the largest insect in that order facing the top. Have a vi label visible with the name of the order with the row of those insects. Try to have the individual insect labels neatly aligned under each in insect. If an insect fails to stay straight on the pin, a very tiny drop of clear glue on the underside of the insect next to the pin will solve the problem. There, these are some basic tips for pinning and displaying insects.